Welcome back to fondant toppers for wedding cakes. In the first video we looked at how to make a fondant bride. In this video we're going to look at how to make the bride again but with a different haircut. I did promise as well that we might make a groom. I'll show you now what a groom looks like. If there are enough responses in this video then I will make a groom tutorial. So get typing underneath the Bristol Bakehouse and let us know if you really want to see one. You will see in front of me that I have three different brides, one with long blonde hair, one with brunette hair, and one with a sort of chestnut colour, and she has a little tiara on top. I've done a variety of different dresses on these ones, as you can see from the close-up, and the one that we're going to be making today is the one in the centre. So, to create the head, what I've done is I've dusted a little icing sugar on top of the greaseproof paper that we've got, and we're going to take our bride and the first thing we need to do is to secure the head, we need to have a cocktail stick. So place the cocktail stick next to your bride and it should leave just a tiny amount above the neck that you can secure the head on. If it's too big, just snap a piece off. So we're going to push our neck forward just a little bit there and then just push the cocktail stick through and it should go right to the bottom and then we're going to do the head and I've got some fondant here and if you put it next to the body of the bride you'll see that it is roughly the right size. What we're going to do is we're going to pop some eyes and a nose into the bride. So two eyes and a little nose and we're also going to take a tool to make a little smile. This is called a scallop tool. Take your paintbrush, dab a little water into it and then we're going to take a tiny piece of flesh coloured fondant for the nose. And pop the nose in there. And then we're going to take some white for the eyes and roll each piece to the same size. Pop it in the eye socket. And then I like the bride's eyes to be looking towards her groom. So I'm going to take my bone tool and I am going to mark on your right hand side my left and just put a little bit of water in, a bit too much there. And now we'll take an even tinier amount of black fondant to put inside the white of the eyes. Just pop that on and we'll do it again for the other side. We're ready to give some eyelashes. For that you'll need some black food colouring paste Dip a cocktail stick in, take as much off as possible and then just test it on your hand if you need to or on a piece of kitchen towel and then mark three little eyelashes You are going to apply some blusher now, you'll need your paintbrush and you will need some pink food powder, what I recommend is you tip a tiny amount into the lid of the food colouring, take a small amount of water and then again you can practice on your hand if you want a little bit, just two tiny blobs of pink on the sides of her cheeks. Just gently pressing down the head so that it fits nicely. We're going to paint the bride's head with water so that we can do the hair. We'll put our bride to one side for the moment. I'm going to take some dark brown fondant and then just roll out over a little bit of icing sugar. Don't worry if you get icing sugar on top because we can take that off later with a paintbrush. You're going to roll out an oval shape. And so we're just going to be cutting and moving round the hair. You should end up with icing that looks like a sort of star shape. And you're not quite the same. Bring your bride back and then we're just going to fix the hair on top like so. I'll turn the bride around so you can see from the back how we're doing this. And just 
press down and as you press down you can begin to curl up some of the edges if you wish. If as I have done you've used icing sugar to help the fondant come away easily from the grease proof paper then you'll need to take a paintbrush now and go over the whole of the hair so that it doesn't look like she's got a really bad dandruff problem. So I'll show you from the back we're just going to go over all the hair like so and do underneath her hair here. Using a flower cutter Press in, take away the excess, push out the flower, paint the middle like so. Take a tiny ball of red fondant. We'll paint the part of the bride where the flower is going to appear, so paint the hands. and just do some finishing touches. 